Hi guys, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be doing a video about something that seems to be quite controversial on my channel right now and a topic that everyone keeps mentioning and it's kind of annoying so I thought I would put the record straight and also give you some information um, and that's all about my lips. <laughs> um, a lot of you have been questioning like what have I done to my lips or some people being nice saying your lips look fab and the truth is yes I have had lip fillers and I have actually been having them since 2010 it's just crazy that now you're just noticing um, the product has never lasted that long on me so there's probably very few videos um, with me with my lip fillers if you look back you'll probably notice now now that you know um, but I literally had no comments in the past um, and it seems to be that a lot of you feel really negative about it but it's something that I've been doing since well for, for five years so to me it's not a big deal um, I'm going to be writing a blog post all about this so that will probably be in the description bar right now so if you want to like read about this as well then head over to my blog but I'm just going to tell you about what I've had and you know my experiences in the past etc for those who want to get lip fillers or those who are just interested about what I've had done so firstly, I started getting lip fillers back in 2010, um, just because I wanted to, not because I was insecure, nothing like that, it was just something like I thought I wanted to try, um, and at first, I, well, for, the, for most of the time, until recently, I would have one mil of some Juvederm product. I wasn't sure what it was, because um, throughout those, probably the past four years, I've tried all different products, because my lip fillers never last and it seemed a bit of a waste of money because it kind of would last hardly in time like a month and then I'd kind of virtually be back to normal so it'd be sort of pointless um, but that was because I was only having one mil and apparently the reason why it didn't last on me very long is because it can be something to do with your metabolism so if you've got a fast metabolism that can break down the product really quick um, so it's quite good to have a fast metabolism I suppose in some ways in my situation being in a wheelchair um, I can't obviously uh, move around as much as everyone else but in some ways for my lip fillers that was a kind of it was kind of a waste of money so in the past I would have one mil of Juvederm I actually have tried Restylane as well but I'm not sure if that even does that exist anymore I'm not too sure um, but the first time I had my lips done I loved it I was obsessed I thought it was so amazing but when I used to have them done I used to have to have anaesthetic in my mouth um, which wasn't a nice experience because that was kind of painful in itself so I'd have more injections than I'd need um, but so that was for four years I was having that then this year I went to another lady in London and she put numbing cream on me and that was really good but again I only had one mil of Juvederm and that still didn't last very long at all and then I recently the most recent one I went to Dr Sarah Tonks at the lovely clinic in Omnia and that is in Knightsbridge in London and it was such a great experience um, and I'll tell you everything that I've had done let me just check my email <laughs> so first of all when I went in um, I had a little bit of consultation told Sarah what I wanted and um, that I wanted them more full and I wanted it to last I wanted it to be really plump and lovely and juicy you know I had problems in the past, I felt like with my lip swatches, because I've got quite wonky lips naturally, when I did lip swatches it would look really rubbish, so I really like that, <laughs> well not quite like that, but it just wasn't how I wanted it to look, and I really feel like when I have bigger lips it really complements my other features, so I thought, you know what, I want to have it done exactly how I want it, and let's see if this works this time. So I told them my issues, and I said, you know, it doesn't last very long on me, um, so she said there's so many different products on the market and she suggested for it to last longer and for a nice big glamorous look that I try Juvederm Voluma. So this is a product that is used more for like cheek fillers, um, not necessarily something that you would put in the lips. So don't just go to your local place and ask for this product if you're having the same situation as me. Go to someone that you know is very advanced in what they do because it can be a bad result because obviously it's quite a stiff product because it's more for other places so um, it's not ideal for the lips but because I wanted it to last longer and she knew what she was doing she was so you know she's so clued up in what she's doing we, I felt comfortable with her doing that for me so <laughs> I had two mil of Voluma 
from Juvederm in my lips the first visit. I went to her twice, which was really great. So she just put numbing cream on, and this numbing cream was incredible. It like went, my mouth went numb in about five minutes, and I was just like, wow, this is really good. So she, with the product that I used, um, you had to use a little bit of a bigger needle, because some of the needles she used for like um, other softer products are so tiny. So she doesn't always use numbing cream, so which is really good um, for people because it doesn't hurt that much. So what she did was she went above the lip into the lip and they just looked really plump and lovely instantly. And then she gave them a massage just to avoid any lumps in it, you know, just getting it in the right place. So because I use the Voluma, like I say, it's not necessarily for the lips. Um, it can last up to 18 months, so hopefully, on me, it will last the amount of time that normal lip fillers would last because obviously I break it down so fast. Um, I had such a good experience with Sarah, she was such a lovely lady, she just made me feel really at ease and comfortable, she went, she just had so much knowledge and I felt really comfortable and I just had faith in her that she could use the product well um, and she explained how it worked and then she contacted me because she said she wants to check on my lips so I went down to London again a couple of weeks later once the swelling had gone down a little bit and she just topped me up just to make because obviously that product was quite stiff, she then put another filler in to smooth it all out. Not necessarily to make them bigger, but she wanted to sort of, she said they weren't necessarily exactly how she wanted them to look. So she said she, she'll put a little bit more filler in, soften the look, and it will be more symmetrical, etc. So the second time I went, I actually used Juvederm Bow Lift, and she'd done that to feather in, like I said, the volumer to make it softer. And she just, I think she kind of, she used a syringe, but I'm not sure if she used it all, but it, was, it wasn't really more to plump the lips any bigger. It just kind of softened everything and made it look all nice. Um, so I was really happy with the re results, and I was really happy with the aftercare and what she, you know, she keeps messaging me now to see if I'm happy, and I am happy. Um, like I said, this is a personal thing. I really like having my lips fuller. That's just something I love and I've been doing it for five years. So when I see comments like you were better before, I was like, well, I have had lip fillers for so long. Um, and also it's my body, like I can do what I want and it's semi-permanent, it's not permanent. It's something that disappears after a while. And you know, if I really didn't like the result, I could actually have the filler taken out. It can be dissolved. So there's nothing really bad about it. Um, it's personal preference. You just need to get a really good doctor. So, on a scale of 1 to 10 for the pain, in the past when I used to have it done, like um, for the past four years, um, the pain was awful. And I think it was mainly because I had anaesthetic as well. Um, so I would be like having pain from that anaesthetic and then I, it took forever to go numb, especially down this side. Um, so that was quite painful. That was like 8 out of 10 for me. But with Sarah, I'd say it was like kind of like a 5. It was really easy and simple and even with the lady before, um, just with the numbing cream, it just, it was like a five, it didn't really hurt. Your eyes watered a little bit in the cupid's bow. I hate the cupid's bow because it's so sensitive, so I really don't like that bit. But I think because the majority of the filler, she went in from above the lip and not in the lip. Like, in the past I had it in the actual lip, but this went above, so it was really good. I mean, in some of the pictures and in some of my recent videos, they do look still a little bit swollen and I think that's why maybe I'm getting comments. But I'm just trying to think if there's anything else you might want to know about my lips. Um, hopefully this will last quite a while now because I've had the stiffer product put in my lips. Um, you know, having your lips done isn't cheap, so you've got to really think about it if you really want it done. Obviously one meal would be fine, but because I had to have more this time for it to last and for it to be the look that I actually wanted, I mean, it was more expensive. But, in a way, it's like, well, there's no point in having it done if you don't have the size or the appearance that you want, because that's a waste of money. So you might as well go the extra mile and save your money and get it exactly how you want. I mean, if you're probably having it done for the first time, I'd probably always say just get one meal um, and don't go any more than that, because that's just it all seemed really strange. Um, I must say as well, with the pain thing, it seems to hurt more afterwards. It's kind of like a dull ache. So when I was in bed that evening, my lips were like throbbing. Like I just felt like I had a real ache in my lips, which wasn't nice. But the next day they felt fine. Um, yeah, so 
I have had my lips done. If you don't like it, then that's fine. You don't need to leave a comment now to be mean because it's unnecessary. But if you'd like to know more information, I am going to write a blog post and that will probably have a bit more in-depth technical speak about my lips. Maybe not, we'll see, but I need to write it. I'm going to write it today, so that will be up before this video. But I'll just show you what they look like from the side. I've got quite a light lipstick on, so you probably can't really tell, but this is really nice lip gloss. It's um, Angel Cake from Jero Cosmetics. Um, I'm now going off on a tangent. But yeah, so my doctor was Dr. Sarah Tonks at the Omnia uh, clinic in Knightsbridge, but her um, clinic is called the Lovely Clinic Inside Omnia. Um, and it's such a lovely place. It's right near Harrods too, so that was quite cool. So thank you so much for watching, and for all of you who keep supporting me, thank you. I just really, really appreciate it. Like, I feel like with this video, it's kind of personal, and I never used to probably want people to know that I'd had my lips done. But because it's so obvious, <laughs> I thought I might as well film it and let you know and just set the record straight and hopefully it will stop uh, the negativity because it's my body, my life, it's temporary, who cares what's inside that counts and if, it, if this makes me happy then I'll do it regardless of what some of you may say. So to all of you who are so lovely and supportive, thank you for watching and to if anyone leaves me in comments, I'll disable the comments on this video because I really can't be doing with it. <laughs> there's so much more important things in life and there's so much more to worry about in life. So, yeah. <laughs> I will have you, hope you have a great day and I will speak to you soon. Thanks for watching. Just to make sure it's all seam seamless and there's no harsh lines. I think this is a really nice look and this lip is so perfect for the festive season.